Hey guys, welcome back to another video after I've tried to make 1700 videos today. And it just, my mind was like, can't relate, can't remember what you're talking about. So this isn't a get ready with me. This is more of like the light at the end of the tunnel of what's going on in the world. Because I don't know if YouTube is being mad about what the, the thing that's going on in the world that's you know, not doing good for people's lives. Um, but yeah, there has to be a light in the tunnel. There always is. We got to think positive. Um, so I kind of just like want to talk about like, what's your goals? You know, what we can look forward to. Um, what I believe will be like good things and, you know, things that it's okay to mourn. I mean, obviously deaths and people being sick and dealing with that is chaotic and super sad and like mourning, not having a job and bills like you know that's obviously like super serious stuff but it's also okay to like mourn you know not seeing your friends and feeling lonely or not seeing your family or you know canceling your traveling plans or vacations concerts you know stuff like that that stuff that isn't really getting postponed um which sucks there's like a big show that I really wanted to see some bands which is May 4th and regardless if you know things calm down by then it probably still won't be safe or a great idea for me to go with my immune system and like my underlying health condition. So I'm super bummed because it's like literally my all time favorite band. Um, so I'm super bummed about that. And, and regardless to, if, you know, I can start working again, I need to be an adult and be responsible and work again, you know, versus that whole situation. And I mean, also too, like people's surgeries and doctor appointments that they actually need to do, obviously is postponed because you probably don't want to keep those because even if you're healthy and it's just a checkup or, you know, you have underlining causes and it's just a checkup that way or was supposed to have a surgery, but you know, you can wait for it, even though you want to just get it over and freaking done with, you know, you don't want to do that because you're probably going to come back with something more severe, you know, um, or get sick in general since there's so much crap going around in general right now. So I just want to say like, it's okay to be bummed about that. It's okay to mourn like, you know, baby showers, postponing your wedding, giving birth right now because that is just, I mean, congratulations. I'm sure you're super happy to have your kid and like props to you for like getting through this and getting through pregnancy with this and staying healthy if, and, you know, go, getting, be able to birth and have a decent birth right now, even though I, a lot of people are in fear and I would be in fear, but you know, you don't get to have all the family and see, or, you know, I think it's, you can have one person in the living room, but then they kind of got like GTFO pretty fast out is what I've heard. I think it depends on the areas in the hospital, but that's just kind of what I've heard. Um, so don't quote me on that one, but still it sucks, especially if it's like their first one together or stuff like that, or, you know, things, you had complications or you're really trying to get hard or even like adoption and it's finally like going good. And then, you know, you still got to add this stress. So my heart goes out to everyone, like dealing with issues like that with really bad money issues, losing loved ones, whether it's from what's going on in the world or, you know, random things, you know, battle with underlying diseases they had or car crash or, you know, overdose stuff, stuff like that, that, you know, and stuff, or like, you know, taking a toll on mental health because you're trapped and you can't see your loved ones, but there is a light at the tunnel. So let's talk about positive things that you'll be able to see. Um, so I'm just really excited for nice weather. At least I can like go for a walk, whether it's by myself, if I really can't be around people, um, or just sit in my yard borrow a long chair from my mom, have her just quick throw it in my yard, um, and be able to just sit outside and read and write or just listen to music and chill out, you know, enjoy the sun somehow. I know a lot of people are really bummed about state fairs because that might not happen. Not so much, I don't think, because of like gathering so much since it's usually in August and September, but more so like the planning and the plumbing and getting things, you know, some people that are vendors might not be able to afford to go or just the planning stuff, like the funding or the timing, like they don't have enough time to even like prep for it. And that's, I think a lot of big events like that, it's not so much after the fact of what's going on now in the summer, you know, things will be better. It's more, you know, we had so much time crunch and we start prepping in June or end of May, you know, whatnot, and just, it's not gonna work out and you, you know, you can't make the for sure plan, so it might just fall through, which is understandable. But really crappy so that super sucks i don't like state fairs they give me a lot of anxiety but i know some people like that's their summer thing they look forward to in the food and like i don't blame you at all i just like con candy so um i know and like 
I mean, county fairs, like, yeah, they're not that fun and great. I like my county fair, but it's not the same as, like, when you're huge into other things like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you still have time to progress and, you know, try to self-care, learn from this, um, you know, learn to be, I mean, good life lessons is learn to be more hygienic and, like, aware of your surroundings, like, I mean, maybe you hate washing your hands or showering all the time, which is, like, I'm super hygienic and germaphobe because, obviously, my health and I just, like, it's not that hard, um, but, you know, like, for the, the sake of others, because we're learning how, you know, you might be okay, you might feel okay, you might be a carrier of, you know, a lot of people are carriers, too, of, like, struck throat and stuff like that, that they don't really get sick from it, but they can pass it to other people and it can really hurt them, like, you know, if you are really sick, try not to go to work, like, don't go to events, even if it's not what's going on in the world, you know, whether it's, like, a stomach bug or terrible cold, influenza, strep throat, um, other diseases that can be easily passed through either bodily fluids or touching surfaces and stuff like that, like, you can learn to be more hygienic, and I think it's a good thing for everyone to come together and learn to more, like, yeah, maybe stuff doesn't affect you, but it can really hurt or kill or put someone out of work, you know, down and really wreck their life in a sense, um, even if it's being out of work for a few days and they can't really afford to do that or it really takes a toll on their body or, you know, even their plans, like, that's not fair. Um, so really learn from that. I think that's a learning experience for me. I know a lot of young people and how the economy is, like, do live paycheck to paycheck and that really sucks. But, you know, I think the thing for me at least learning, usually when I get a decent paycheck, if I worked a lot of hours, I'm like, oh, well, let's go out to eat and buy makeup and blah, 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 blah. Like, mine is pay your bills first, which I always usually do. That's always a big thing. Um, cause I do get paid weekly for my job, obviously not right now. Cause I just filed unemployment. So that's going to be a little different. Um, but you know, if you can put, you know, sacrifice even $10 from your paycheck just to put in savings for if something terrible like this happened, if you were to lose your job for some reason, if you need to have surgery, if someone's sick and you need to take leave and you're not going to get paid for anything, you know, something happens with your house or you need your car, your car fixed or plumbing, I don't know, anything just super random that happens to people, you know, you, you got it, you're, you might be a little okay, it's not going to be as bad, and that's definitely something that me and Shane are learning from, like, stop being a freak and spending money all the time, like, you can save money and then you won't be oh, so old, um, you know, finer things in life, save up for something super cool, or for us, for like our house and our roof and improving things versus like, buying something real quick to like, fill the void for a few minutes, like, look for the future, um, I think it is good to look for the future right now. Like even the little things like the future, as soon as that gym opens up, like get back on the gym, um, hit up your friends, you know, even if you have friends and family who after the fact, when they can go back to work or what have you, um, you know, maybe they can't, a lot of people won't be able to afford to go out or afford to get coffee or something. If you, you know, truly, if you want to see someone and you can afford to see them or like, Hey, you know, like I can afford to come see you but I can buy your coffee because, you know, I'm a little more better off with money and I'm working more. Maybe you're, you know, like, or make a care package. If you, if you have the money, like obviously don't put yourself in debt or at a worse place right now, but you know, when you get to go back to work or you're making hours and good on your bills and stuff, but you can help out a friend or a family member um, who truly needs it, or you just, you know, want to do a pick me up, like, you know, take them out for ice cream, take them to a $5 movie. If you can afford to just like, they feel good. And, you know, they're struggling, they're trying to get back on their feet, they can still do something fun. So I think that's like really important. Um, I mean, or just like random goals, like if you have to run to the hardware store because like Menards and stuff like that, I mean, they do sell food and cases of water and cleaning supplies, stuff that people actually do need. That's why they're essential right now. You know, there is, if you're already there and you can quick like get some seeds to plant and grow a garden or some flowers, I'll make you feel better. You're focusing on something that's positive. And if you're growing like vegetables and stuff out or depending where you live in the world if you can like grow fruit or whatever um you know then you're having that extra food that you don't need to go buy because you're saving money that way um for me I probably would kill every plant let's be real um and I'm not really good at gardening the only thing that really works for me is like planting sunflowers and flowers up in my front yard and that's pretty much what I'm gonna do I don't have room for like a big garden or anything like that maybe like a tomato plant I could maybe do that um but simple things like that, like if you have more time and you can afford, like, or you have extra supplies and you've been like, oh, I finally have time to, like, paint now and, like, focus on, like, reading or writing, you know, do that. That's what I'm doing. I'm focusing on, like, practicing makeup, making YouTube videos finally, um, being grateful for what I have, being grateful for my family, 
my husband, my friends who've been checking in on me, things that I can afford or I bought that are entertaining me right now that I didn't really get to use or kind of took for granted, things like that. Um, you know, when I can work again, as much as sometimes I'm like, I don't want to get out of bed. I just want to call in like that. I'm going to be a hundred more times appreciative that I have a shift. And when I get back to work, I mean, I work for like a corporate company who, you know, had to do some things to make sure we can get back on our feet when we can open up and drive sales and give hours to employees. Like for me, even like with my health, if you know, my doctor's like, I can't have you work this many hours right now. Like you need to work a few hours and then you need to rest and you need to make sure, you know, you're on a schedule. Like I'll be great for two shifts or 10 hours a week. I mean, usually I work like seven, eight hour shifts and I work multiple days a week, but if I have to cut back for a little bit, I mean, my job and my managers are very understanding that way. So I'm very fortunate for that. Um, but you know, if you need to take time off or if you can use your vacation time after this and you're like, you know, I'm really stressed out and I just like need to take a few days off that I can get paid for, um, do it. Hopefully you can file for unemployment. I just did that today. Um, the only really shitty thing that happened today is someone stole my debit card information and it was like 13 people tried to charge for like my account to give them $5 and it literally was 13 people. Like my bank texted me asking if I approve this cash app thing, which I don't use cash app. I have an account, but I've never used it. And I was like, um, no. So then I had to call my bank. They gave me the fraud number. The fraud number went through like, if you ever had this happen, usually fraud numbers, depending on your bank. I go through a credit union. So they usually are on the ball when they th see something where they call you right away. They usually refund you right away um, or, you know, stop the purchases so they didn't go through. Um, but the girl's like going through all of them and they're all for cash up and it's literally like 10 to 13. And then when I talked to the dispute person, he was like, this was 13 different ones. And I was like, thank God it was only $5 and I have a good chunk amount in my checking right now since I've only been using bills and I haven't bought any random things or went out to eat and been mindful that way, which usually like I'm not. Um, and it wasn't as much money, but so, I mean, I took care of it, which was nice because if I had to work or something, I probably would be not as easy to call and take care of it, um, or see it right away. So I have to call the dispute back tomorrow and they'll figure out a way to like refund me and the whole case. I called my bank. They're sending me a new card, talk to them about the dispute. And they're like, nah, as long as you're on the ball and you're calling them, because like, if you're not calling them and getting on like the situation, they're just going to case the clothes because they're going to think like you don't care or it's fixed or whatever. Um, so that's only bummer for me right now. And obviously like I won't be able to work till the 30th at least if that's when we open and it might be later. So I just really miss work. I'm really appreciative of my coworkers customer. When I get back and he's yelling at me about something, whatever, I'll be appreciated because I'll be making money. Um, but yeah, I do want to sew on my ears. That is a big thing. I mean, that's probably going to postpone to either like the super end of the year, like beginning mid of 2021, totally fine. Um, cause I got, you know, get settled with bills and stuff, but I do want that to happen. That is still a goal for mine. Um, haven't worn plugs in like three years, kind of over that. My birthday's this month. I'm excited for it because regardless of like, if I just have to celebrate with like immediate family that it's really seen and they're being good or, you know, I can't really do anything. Me and Shane decided he turns, tw or he turns 28 on the 20th of May. Our anniversary for our wedding is the 3rd of June. So if things are better by then or even mid June, we're just like, let's celebrate wedding and being 28 together. Like, and that's all I need, you know? If anyone wants to send me a birthday card though, you definitely can, <laughs> you know, I'm um, just saying, but I just gotta take, you gotta take everything day by day. Um, but you know, like plan stuff, like when this, you know, and you can get back on your feet, be like, I'm gonna detail plan a trip to visit someone, visit somewhere you go. I mean, I personally wouldn't fly anywhere to like probably 2021 or like it's super just, just cause there's different, you know, you just don't want to deal with anything. So just my piece of advice, but you know, like, even if you have to wait another year to plan a trip, like you can save up, get back on your feet and then look forward to something really fun. Um, and you know, I mean, it sucks. A lot of people want to do spontaneous trips and stuff, but it's just like not a no go right now. Um, and like go for a walk, you know, with friends. Like that's what I'm really excited about. It's like going for a walk with friends, driving around with friends, going to get pie at Perkins, like going to get ice cream, just like, or just like hanging out and driving around and walking out, like have them come over to watch movies or like a TV show or me go with them or just, I mean, I'm a person that can literally hang out at a park with friends and just like talk about life and make each other laugh. Um, or even at my house or like their house, like I'm, I'm pretty simple that way, especially as I got older. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, luckily Shane's cousin's weddings were postponed till end of June and end of August. So I should be able to go that way. 
um because they're in wisconsin so a traveling more i was more worried about money than like what's going on in the world i know youtube might be a little <coughs> on how that's going but um i got to do a zoom call with a bunch of girls um in my heart uh facebook group that all have like heart problems similar to mine and had a fontaine procedure um some of us a little more than others some of us you know a little bit better than others but we've really it's really helped you know what to do how to go about unemployment how to go about things how to stay safe like what are you guys doing and kind of just like entertain each other because i mean if you can call friends or anything like that like do that um obviously check in with them but it was just kind of fun because i got to meet a bunch of different people that have so many like that get what i go through um and it was just cool because they're all like one girl was from new zealand one person was in germany like it's all over it was super cool and then tonight there was a webinar from the congenital heart disease um patients for like adults um the cdc um the infectious disease stuff like that that are going to give us like info of, like how things are going in general statistics like what we need to do for our underlying diseases to stay safe how maybe you know it might be longer for us because we have underlying diseases if you i don't really it depends i guess on your governor and your state but a lot of them are doing this so we have the supplies for people who are elder who get really sick even though you I mean you can get super sick with this even if you're the healthiest person in the more vulnerable people with you know underlying conditions that you know are really going to need it so that is you know what we got to learn and whatnot but i'm excited for that because i do enjoy knowing more about my future and with my health and a knowing like i mean obviously no i wasn't alone but like actually getting to talk to people be like hey i'm feeling this has anyone gone through this or like hey i have this surgery like what did you guys do um you know stuff like that so that's it's a nice to look forward to and it's nice to meet people um you know if you can play video games play video games if you play an instrument practice your instrument if you sing or do vocals like practice that if you can i mean maybe not an apartment because you know people are more home obviously now um learn how draw you know hobbies like if you can fix on that um but you know like be be excited for halloween <laughs> that's that's probably when it's gonna be you know peak time but be excited for the summer and just like doing things you know that you like to do or breathing in warm fresh air i mean i guess some people really hate the heat i don't i love the heat um you know cool things like that um i'm just excited to do simple simple stuff because and you know knock on wood be alive and just, you know, do your part if you can, well, as much as you can. I'm really excited to get a haircut. That's what I'm really looking forward to do after, like, I get paid a couple more times when I'm actually back working on unemployment. Oh, well, obviously nothing salon-wise is open. But my haircut has, or my hair, I mean, is really long. But last year was, like, to here around this time. And I haven't got a haircut since. So my fault before all this happened, I definitely could have afforded to. I was just really lazy. So that's my own fault. Or bought stupid things I didn't need versus getting a haircut but that's you know how I'm going to treat yourself and definitely like when you have money um and when things open like treat yourself but also if you have like friends you can you know when you obviously like don't go broke but you know if they're also look forward to getting tattoos or pierced but like in the industry where like you know hair skincare um people making art like if you can support them um you know do that too like if you can wait for you know maybe your friend's a hairstylist or someone you really like know like wait for them to open up because then you're supporting someone you really trust and like um you know so do that um uh, that's what i would do watch some movies watch some movies catch up on some tv shows if you can uh watch some crazy documentaries on netflix and stuff like that so you know there is things you can do um, and look forward to and just think of like the small stuff and be appreciative to what you have. Um, I think the biggest appreciative to what you have, even if you're obviously going through financial issues, is that you lived through this or that you didn't get sick, um, especially if you're fortunate enough for those situations. Like that's a really big thing uh, for sure. I mean, this isn't obviously this is a lot worse than a lot of pandemics we've had over in the last couple of years. But, you know, H1N1, this I think H1N1 is the same as the bird flu, um, swine flu, Ebola. This is basically SARS. Um, you know, stuff like that. So my whole thing is like, I'm just ready for some dumb 
people on YouTube for sure or just cringy people that create them be like, yeah, this is my documentary that I survived. Enter what's going on in the world because I don't know how you YouTube is taking that right now. Uh, the virus. And because you know someone's gonna like capital. I mean, obviously like the world is really corrupt right now and the US is like corrupt in this whole situation, but someone's definitely gonna capitalize really crappy on that. And that's super annoying, but I guess it is what it is. So yeah, bet Netflix, Met Netflix is next for that. They're gonna be like, oh, we did Tiger King. We did Don't F with Cats. We did Ted Bundy tapes, making a murder, and now we're gonna do this. Which I mean, if they got the right info and it's not like, it's more like informational and like what we went through historically, because that wouldn't be as terrible, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm hanging in there. I wish I could go to a store, but I can't. I mean, not like go shopping, but even like, oh, I need to run and get some milk and like get the H out of my house. Like that's kind of nice for five seconds of my time. Um, but it's all right, it's fine, it is what it is. I've been playing The Sims and playing Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing's been a really good time, except this whole egg thing for Egg Day, which is literally Easter. That's just what they're calling it. Or is it, is it Egg Day or is it Bunny Day? I don't, I don't remember exactly what it's called off the top of my head. I read it this morning. Um, but I just want to fish and catch a new fish and it's just like egg, 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 egg. And I'm like, I get you need to like find them and make DUI things so you can get like the big prize at the end of it. I'm like... You know, I just really wish I could get a nice fish and sell it for bells and like buy my house more and like build this bridge for my characters, you know? So it is what it is. Um, I love you guys. Subscribe. I know this is kind of like a more chill, weird video, um, more like a vloggy video, talk video. I will do more get ready videos with me and like maybe favorite movies and comics and just like weird random stuff or like funny stories probably another one I'll probably do is funny stories because I have a lot of a lot of really embarrassing stories or like weird stories that have happened to me I have a few of those so um yeah I love you guys please subscribe and have a good time please please stay safe stay home as much as you can and you know be thankful for what you have and we can all get through this I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one